Thank you. Oh, hi everyone, my name is Grigory Parian and today I'm going to play my second Panther Cup match. My opponent is uh, Norwegian Grandmaster Johan Sebastian Christensen. And yeah, we just started our first game. So the format is very easy. The one the first one to get eight and a half points wins the match. I don't feel like I'm, I'm a favorite to win this match because my mouse skills are quite bad. But okay, we'll see. So we have some some ratio in the first game. Quite a weird trade because he's played knight c6. So now I should be able to get some advantage, I believe. But it won't be easy. So bishop h5. Now the question is if I want to put my pawn on c3 or c4. Of course. C4 is much more aggressive, but I'm not sure that it's such a great idea. But I'll do it anyway. Bishop e7, I should retreat my knight to f3. Knight f6, knight c3. Castle, castle. Yeah. Knight on c6 is somewhat weird, but. It's very difficult to prove that. I mean, I'm pawned down, so it's me who should prove something. He'll be a bait, so he wants to play b5 at some point. And he has this very unpleasant pin. Is it bishop on h5? I can play g4 then after bishop g6. Wait, move my knight, knight away, but then then bishop comes to g3. So I'm not sure at all that is a good idea. So let's play it slowly. Maybe d1 next move. Right, so he decides to go bishop g6. Uh, don't think. I have a good compensation for this pawn, so I'll have to go for some kind of an attack on the king side. Will be very difficult. Yeah, c5. Basically, just a pawn down now. Knight d4. Yeah, I'm just losing maybe. Queen e3. And also one minute down on the clock. So very difficult situation at the moment. Let's see if we can do something about it about it. Well, now at least I have some compensation because of this structure. Can't say that it's, it's a lot, but it's something. Now maybe I should play e5. And king h2. Right. So going to play f4, then g4 maybe. Quite a bad position still, but yeah, I'm glad with an exchange. So it's now it's definitely very bad. Yeah, just resignable. All right, so it was quite a bad game. Should do something about my play because right now it's very, very bad. E4, E5. So 
So let's go for some kind of Italian. Goes for a very. Now this line is considered to be very dovish. Bishop g5, bishop d6, knight. I takes, yeah. I think this is just a draw. Yeah. Not a lot to say about this position, honestly speaking. So it's all for him and draw. Next one. So in general, my goal for this match is not to repeat my first move with white. So I employed the same strategy, strategy recently in a rapid tournament in China and it paid off. I scored uh, five and a half out of six. Obviously it's very dangerous to do it with black, but with white it makes some sense. If you can say things like this make sense at all. So yeah, I played knight f3 and g3 already. I'll do some other st stuff later on. So we have some some very weird English. He decided to go for this h5, h4, and then f5. Now strategically he has some disadvantages in his position because the square on e4 is fully in my control. But at the same point, he might go for some for some attacking options in the center, maybe. Maybe try to push d5 at some point. I take c4. So now I'm not sure. Maybe I should take with a bishop. So I'm not scared of bishop takes h3 because I have queen h5. So yeah, strategically I have very huge advantage. But yeah. Rook f7. Where should I put my bishop? Is d2 is better square or b2? D2 or B2. Okay. I just want to keep his three pawn protected in case he takes on F2 at some point. So it's not going to happen anyway, probably, but just in case. Maybe D5 here. Yeah. Okay. Takes, takes, bishop c3. I'll play rook g1. Next move, probably. Should I defend against a4 or not? Uh, right now I have a4, a4, b4, so should be okay for me. Maybe I should have played king b1 simply, because it's a very useful move anyway. A3, yeah, let's play king b1. Then he'll go queen b5, right? Maybe g4 now? Yeah, like rook g4. I want to take on h4 and go queen h5. Just go for mating attack. So basically, right now, this knight on e4 is just dominating. I have all the squares protected, and I, yeah, and I can simply go to grab some material, maybe nuke e4, and then take on this pawn on e5. Also, queen h5 is a big threat. Yeah, queen h5 now, probably. The way I had e4, probably. Yeah. On g6. I'll take g7. Now, maybe I should just play 
what should I do? I have queen g6, right? It takes f2. Oh. Yes. Surprisingly, his, his attack is much stronger. I don't know how that happened, but b5 now, yeah. b5, e4. Oh, this move, yeah. Yeah, it just looks disastrous for me. It would be two is coming. Do I have any defense against it? Probably not. So just, just need to make some moves. Quite quite hard to make anything actually. Can just take now, yeah. Yeah, it's resignable once again, but let's see. Maybe maybe I can flag him by miracle. Oh, that sounds like it's a fight already. So biggest problem is my king. I might get mated still. Just lost on time. But position is also lost. All right. So I'm two points down. Need to figure out a way to fight. So what should I do against this E4 now? Probably should go for something more fighting. It's a modern system. It looks not that great for black, but actually it's very interesting. There are many, many ways to improve black's position. Should I take on f4 or just play queen c7? Let's play queen c7. Now I have this pawn on h4, and since there are no dark squared bishops anymore on the board, it might be quite a pleasant bonus later in the end game. But right now, his pawn majority on the queen side is not that important and I should be able to get some contact play in the center. Rook e8 next move, then knight f4 is coming. Right now it looks very promising for me, but I don't know. A5 should be a useful move anyway. Knight c1. Okay, knight f4. Now I can just simply take on this ring, play queen d5 maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Or b5 maybe. Rook e2 is also a move, but he has rook, rook d2. Objectively speaking, position should be round equal. Guess he's going to play c4 now. I 
I think I should play on this game because I mean I can't be worse here, so why why not to play on? So he's going for the end game. Yes, I should just take on c3, play rook e5. Now I can take, take, play rook e2, rook b2. Yes, I'm slightly better here, but because his king is very weak, he moves his rook away. Now I can play simply rook e4. I should have given him a check on Ivan first. Then I'll keep for. Yeah. It's fine anyway. I'm still trying to get something here because obviously it's only Black who can try something. Now I guess it's just perpetual. Don't have anything else. Lg, Lg1. Okay, takes. Okay, let's try it. I should try it. It's zero risk for me anyway. So. Why not? Might be quite tricky actually for white because Lg5. Now I'm winning this pawn. It's probably not that easy to defend now. King g4. It's probably just winning for black now. Yeah. Very strange. What's the best way to win? Let's go f3. Take on e8, e2, e1. And that's it. I don't think he has any stalemate ideas here. F2. I can just take. So that's kind of a comeback. Now we need to focus the next game. So as I said, my goal is not to repeat any moves with white. It might be tricky from some point on because there are quite a lot of games here. And if it goes to the tie breaks and you're kind of a disaster for me, because I was just simply run out of decent moves and we have to fight for equality with boss cars. But for now, I still have a lot of options. So I started with E3, but now it's once again some English. Black has King's Indian set up. I'll just go for the most solid one. Right, that's what I was waiting for actually. I didn't want to castle, now I have h3, g4. This is generally considered very good for, for white. I mean, I just know this positions with the colors reversed and here I'm in tempo up, so I guess I just have a perfect position. Play g4, h4. Not sure if I should play g5 or just take on h4, maybe. I don't 
like hook h4 because he has some strange knight d5 and knight b4. So let's play g5. Just sacrifice this pawn. Knight f3. I guess there are no tactics. Or maybe there is something. Is there rook takes e4? It's very nice actually. So I'm going to take with a d2 knight. And then I have two threats. I want to take on f3 and knight. I'm threatening knight f6, queen h7, mate. Knight h4. Yeah, it's it's defense, but still it looks extremely dangerous for black. So he wants to play a five next move. I need to figure out a way to size the initiative. Bishop by three probably is good move. Is a good move because that was my basically the only piece not in play. Now I can just take on d6. I should do that yeah, probably. Or maybe just play king b1, yeah. And after f5, I, I would take. I would take on d6. Because I'm not really in a hurry in this position. I mean, it takes a lot of time for black his pieces in the best possible way. A5, yeah, that's what I would expect it. Can I take on d6 with a knight now? It would take d6, knight to e4. In general, I think I have an amazing compensation, especially for a blitz game. It's very hard to defend with this black here. And yeah. Once all my pieces get into the attack, it will be game over. So now I just want to take on g7 and play queen h6. Just pay attention to the black silk on a8 and knight on b8. Still very far from the from the other king side, and yeah, just take, take. What's that? Should not be possible. No way, it is possible. No way. Rook one. I want to play bishop h6. Just need to play a bit faster, and it will be all right. Okay, let's play rook e2. Bishop H6 is still a big threat. So. That should be made. F take G6. Yeah, I guess that's game over. Let's see if he can flag me. I don't think so. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm very bad with, the, with my mouse. That's very unfortunate, actually. To lose the game in that way. So once again, I'm two points behind. Actually, it's called zero out of three is white. I saw him playing this line. It's a very solid one for black as well. So I'm 
quite happy with it. This is what I enjoy because it's a long game and it's very easy to make like 10 moves with black without thinking now. X8, B6, Knight, D5. Okay, bishop f8, g6 now, bishop g7, and then I'll play knight d5 to make sure that I exchange this bishop. All right, knight d5. Guess he'll take, but he decides to go queen a1. But now he has only one bishop and I don't think I'm much worse here. Queen e7, knight f6 next moves probably. Then I move my knight to g4. Should be gone, to equal. I mean, I'm not playing it the best way, the best way possible. So. I'm going to face some problems very soon, but so I can't I can't take on a three now because of e four. So I should do something else. Probably, probably rook c eight is a move. Rook c eight. Takes on d5, then goes b4 because there is no way to defend this pawn for me. So we start with rook d7. I should take with the rook. And this should be equal, yeah. Queen e5. He offers the door. All right. So let's start this game with a favorite move of the famous Georgian legend Badu Jobawa, b3. I played against him on the Eye of Man last year, and he replied with b6 against my one knight f3 and got a very bad position very soon. But yeah, after the game, Badu eventually said, Badu eventually saved by a miracle. He told me that uh, B6 with black is probably not such a great move as B3 with white. So let's see if I can prove that B3 is good for white. Or at least playable, I mean. Good is probably not the, the right word. So now I have some structure advantage, but he has two bishops. I'm going to play knight c3. So now, now after knight e7, I have c5. It's not so easy to defend the pawn. All right, he goes for it. So what should I do now? I can play bishop a3. He'll go rook e8 here. Yeah. Rook c1. Should probably castle because at some point I was a bit worried about bishop b5 immediately instead of rook c8. I mean.
h3 is always a useful move e4 so i just bond it again or what i can't save this exchange yeah see if we can't save this exchange it's not that bad for me Maybe it is actually. Yeah, I mean, I'm just exchange down. Can go rook a8. I have literally zero compensation. Bishop c5, maybe. So yeah, so far it's a total disaster for me this match. Just playing so badly. And very slowly. Oh, this game is not over yet. I have some ideas, but maybe I can still can fight. Because I have a very nice bishop on c3, which is not protecting many squares right now. He can't he can't exchange his rooks via a file because if a a one square is covered. Now I want to play b5 and create a weakness on d5. Maybe we'll get some counterplay against his king. I should h4 at some point, probably. Yeah, he's going to exchange his rooks. Yeah, g6, game over. g6, game over. I didn't find it, but anyway. It's not going. Yeah, should just resign. So it's 2-5, I guess. I'm three points down. Should I, what should I do with black? E4. Let's go C5. Let's go for some browser. I need to fight. Is black now. Since I'm losing every game, it's white. So, so Gauzer should be a decent choice for that. F4. It's not a great move, say no. Play H6, I think. I'm very surprised by his decisions. I mean, this f5 looks so unnatural. I think I should just give, give this check, play h3, 
and then cast along. And I'm not scared of f takes e6 and then it takes f6 because I will have bishop g7 with a long term compensation. So I should play a6, I guess. Now queen e3 looks nice. Queen g5. Knight e5 is coming. So now the question is basically whose attack is stronger. I'm probably behind, but I'm not very disappointed right now. D5 should create some counterplay in the center because I have this pawn on h3 and every check might be extremely annoying for him. Should just take, I guess. Queen e1. Maybe I should just play it slowly. I mean, bishop e7, rook d8, f5. Because I have a very decent position in general. So I don't really see why should I hurry with my decisions. Oof. And another blunder. It was really unexpected. Right. Maybe I have a very good counterplay actually. So all I need to do is just to get to that H2 pawn. And once I'm there. Would be very tricky for him as well. Knight e3. Yeah, I mean, he's just playing the most solid way possible, just defending all the squares on you know, his king. And that's a very good strategy, actually. So now I need some tricks to win this game. Bishop c5 is a threat now. Right, a6. What's that? I don't have anything. Whoa. F4 is may maybe the move. Yeah, I should go f4. Somehow it turns out that I'm probably on faster in G4. Now I'm going to take and just take it with a rook. I guess so. And then Queen F3 is coming. Take on g3, then queen e4, queen d2, yeah, and that's mate. It's mate. All right, so far it's going by this black, and it's a total disaster with white. Maybe I should just stop, stop playing e3 and b3. So this is not the best line 
for black. It's a bit passive, but he wants to he wants to play in IG eight and then F five. But usually, when there is knight on C three, should not be a big problem for white. Because generally, I'm just faster in the in the center. Is my counterplay. They just play something like h3, maybe take on f5, then okay, we just try to play faster, just taking some natural decisions. I'm always well on time, so. The position is very double edged. F4. Keep going for a mating attack. I'm not sure if, if it's a good idea or not. I actually like my position. Bishop on B2. Is the bishop on B2 will have a lot of pressure along this diagonal? Just exchange this dark squared bishop at some point. So I can take on f6 now and play bishop b2. I just don't like that there is queen g6. What should I do now? I guess just take on d4. I saw this idea, but somehow I wasn't very scared about it. But now I see that there is there is queen g5 after knight takes c6. So yeah, I guess I'm in, I'm in a big trouble. Let's play g3. Takes. I have to give up this exchange. And yeah, 95. Once again, it's a total disaster. Total disaster for me because I'm just clear exchange down, zero compensation. This might be a chance for me, but I don't have time to figure out what's going on. Yeah, that's it. One more was with white. So it's six three. Minus three for me. Now I need to win a couple of couple games in a row to come back. So Sicilian should be my choice, definitely. Yeah, it's quite disgusting actually. He's going for this line. It's a very drawish one. But I feel like I'm slightly better already. So, is it just a blunder? 
I guess so. I mean, he, he has to go queen a4. Maybe he's still holding it, but. It's very dubious, very dubious. Can I go b5? It's a little b8. Let's try it out. Why not? I could have played just holy, just castle, take on this island. Probably slightly, slightly better for me. So. But I just want some complications on the board. So, B4 now. Is he going for knight C6 or not? Knight C6, I have bishop F2. I do have it, but what's going on there? You go king e2, I guess. Or f1, yeah. Now I'll take on a4. Move my rook back to probably to a6. He takes on f2, I'll take on d8. Oh, he has this move as well, yeah. I'm just missing some basic tactics here. Yeah. King e2, look at fun now. Quite a decent advantage for it. H3 is also a move, yeah. What am I doing? I look at two, just king e1. So I'm pawn down. I have worse position. Bishop is coming to a3. Yeah. It looks like the end. C4, yeah. Yeah, there is no way I can save this game. It's just so bad. So bad. He's simply much faster even with his speed. It's mate here. Yeah. Oh, it's mate here. Yeah. Yeah, somehow save it. Probably not, but still have to try. Try to fuck him. So with this knight, I think they might have some tricks. Right.
and how is a decent result for me in that game. Now it's basically a mastering situation with white. Otherwise, there's no way we can come back. Is he going for b6? Some pawn sacrifice? Generals that should be quite good for black, but this match situation, I should I should be happy. I feel like I'm pawn up simply for no compensation. I think C4 is a is a move now. So yeah, I'm upon up. For nothing basically, but won't be easy by any means. So, and he's tricky as always. I'd like to change this bishop, it's a bit annoying. So, I'll do it via c6 square. Let's play queen d3. Now queen e2. And it's either bishop c6 or knight c6 next move. Bishop c6 in this case, yeah. All right, so it's another weakness. You can just go for it. Rook c5 and take it. It's a game because my queen is defended only two. Right, first win with white should be very encouraging. So, let's play Karo Khan again. He's just choosing the most solid lines, basically, with white. It makes sense for him. He wants zero risk, but... I feel like I'm stronger in this slow, in this slow play, slow games. So I should be relatively happy with this. Not sure about e5, but at the very least it looks interesting because he has a lot of weaknesses. So now the question is if I should defend this pawn on d5 or just go for a mating attack is knight g4. Probably knight g4 should be my, my choice. Now I can simply take on e3 and play bishop c5. 
and if he takes with a pawn, then I have bishop takes g3. Rook e2 now? Oh, rook f3. It's a bit surprising. So he wants to take the spawn on f5. Not sure if that's a good idea, honestly speaking. Let's play f4. I feel like this is knight of knight of two on the line. I should have an amazing, amazing chances. Queen b6. How is he going to defend the save two square? I guess I should take with a knight. Because now knight g4 is a big threat. Also, the pawn on b2 is hanging. What is that? It's going for some tricks with knight g4, queen h5. Is it working so? I mean, I have queen b2 also. Yeah, I guess I should just take. b4 just play bishop e7 on knight e3 right i have completely been in position but i'm pretty low on time so that's a tricky part of it Not sure we'll make it with this decision to exchange the queens. It was a mistake, I guess. I should have kept it. Should, should have the queens on the board. I'm completely winning. But I have only 19 seconds left, so... It's like 50-50. I'll just try to take all his pawns first. to make sure that I'm not going to lose this game. Tense in a draw. So it's 5-7 now. I didn't manage to win this game, so it's very bad, but still. Still have a chance. Don't have that many moves left with white, so that's a problem. Because I really need to win a game now. He's choosing some my outside system. What is this queen b6? I've never seen it before, honestly. Should not be great by any means. 
Mission G3. This castle. Wait, Bishop E3. F3. Knight C3. I'm ahead in development. I have some structural advantage. Let's just have more space. Spray knight b5 and then retreat this bishop to e2. Knight d4. All right. Whoa, queen c7. What's that? Just take on e6 now, play c5. Well, it's definitely not how chess works. I mean, it's just lost strategically. This bishop is just not making it into the game back into the game, probably. Let's see if I can pull it actually. It's not that, that easy, still need some technique. I should just play faster, yeah. We had the same problem in the first banter match. Now again. Oh, he got some counterplay. It's very active, Fuchs. His bishop is still out of the game, but. Right, I have completely winning position, honestly, but... Twenty seconds down on the clock. So it might be quite tricky for me. What should I do now? Bishop B5 is a move now, yeah. So bad. It's a blunder. Might save me. Might might save me. Might might save me.
Now the draw in the winning position. Now he needs one more point to win this match. So. I have to play some aggressive chess now. It's nice to get a long game in general. I think I'm getting it now. It is going to be a long game because this Spanish structure in general is very playable. All right, it's time. To time to push in the center because he just made a lot of unnecessary moves and all my pieces are positioned the best way possible and obviously I'm very happy with this outcome. So I'm pulling up. That's good news. I'm also 10. Few seconds up on the clock. That's also good news for now. But now the hardest part comes. I need to win this game. I think I didn't manage to do a couple of previous, not previous ones. Yeah, another blunder. So disgusting, I mean. Maybe it was actually a nice blunder because now I don't see a way for him to save save a piece. Well, maybe that's a way, but I'm not really scared about it. This should be made. No way. No way this, this is not made. Should just take that night. All right, it wasn't the best technique possible, but still good enough to win the game. Now I'm only one point behind. Which moves do I have left? 
don't remember honestly. Oops. Let's play something solid. Kyle Khan reversed. Should be quite nice in general. So now it's some cow's butt structure. Not sure if he's familiar with these structures. Should I castle one? And G4 next move. Well, now we should prepare G4 somehow. So it seems that I can't take on e4 two times because I'm losing a piece there. So I should try to find something else and go for this. Doesn't look good for me, honestly, but it's not really about the position now. Once again, I'm so low on time that just can't afford my, myself spending extra seconds. I'm basically just entering the pre moves on now. It's the only way I can win this game. I keep wondering everything. Yeah, just wondering everything. I guess this is just a queen only two. Don't really understand this move. Going for mating attack is my d2, but Knight d4 is a move now, yeah. And rook a3 now. Oh, rook a3, if b takes a3. Still holding. Not holding. Still trying to put in some fight. This 20 seconds is just impossible. Queen B2 mate. And that's it. That's the match for him. Oof, hard mat. Hard mat, really, right? Yeah. Uh, he is I'm very, too slow today. 
Yes, yes. Okay, maybe he's very, very uh, fast uh, because I, I think you play yeah. very good, but uh, okay, uh, you lost my time uh, a lot of points, but okay. Yeah. That was my problem. This match, this was my problem in the first match. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you Just very much. Just difficult for me to play this increment, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you, and okay, uh, see you in next uh, Panther Blitz. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. -bye.